Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your July 2020 Soul Connection in Separation Love Reading. Um, this is for those of you who are experiencing some sort of deep soul connection. You can't get your person out of your heart, out of your mind, and you are likely separated and not in communication right now. If that is not your story, if you're looking for new love, then this is definitely not your reading. This is going to be a general reading, you guys. It's not going to resonate with everybody, and the energies can be reversed, so just keep that in mind. If you would like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below with a link to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. You can click and book online. When booking, please indicate in the notes if you'd like a phone reading, a Zoom reading, which is recordable, or a pre-recorded. If you'd like pre-recorded, please just know that those are not delivered at the time of the appointment. Those readings do have a tendency to get a little bit backed up. Right now, they're about four days out, okay? I'm trying to catch up this weekend, um, so it may not be that way next week, but I booked like 25 appointments last week and it's been a little bit crazy, so I'm little, a little behind. If you have a reading coming to you, just know that I am working on it, okay? Thank you for your patience. If you are booking a pre-recorded, please indicate in the notes your zodiac sign, your person's name, their zodiac sign, and a brief description of what's going on between the two of you. It would be appreciated. It saves me from following up, so it saves a lot of time for me. Okay, Aquarius, we have got some really interesting energy for you. Um, you may be going through a bit of a rough time right now. But, you know, we learn from the challenges and the obstacles. So let's see what's going on. We've got the friendship card and Aquarius, you are all about friendship. You are the, you know, the sign of friendship. So we, this says, be with the ones who make you shine, who really love and who who love and really care. Keep those and let others go. So this is really about being discerning about who you, the people that you surround yourself with, okay? Um, we do have this conflict card. We have this storm warning. So, you know, if you look at both of these, there's water, there's turbulence. So there could be some rocky times ahead of you. But Spirit is asking you to be flexible because nothing is yet set in stone. So just get through this difficult period the best you can and just know that every cloud has a silver lining, okay? There, just be as flexible as you can, go with the flow, and just know that this too shall pass, all right? We've also got this commitment card and you know we do have this this conflict card as well so you and your person might be having conflict about commitment so you guys may not be on the same page your person could have issues with commitment you could have issues with commitment um, I'm feeling that the best course of action is to work on the friendship above all else. And obviously you're not in communication right now, but when you start communicating again, it's really about focusing on the friendship and not pressuring each other for commitment. Um, Aquarius, I know you don't like to be pressured about commitment. so. We've also got the garden and the gate, and this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, this is about, you know, taking a risk, stepping out of your comfort zone. I see this as a very, very spiritual card because this girl, you know, is inside this beautiful garden and she's safe here. It's all she's ever known, but she's looking out onto the horizon longingly. She wants to explore something new. She wants to experience something different, but she's a little hesitant to open that gate and walk through, okay? That is about really, really, you know, finding the courage to just do things a little bit differently. 
So Aquarius, let's see how your person's feeling about you. What is their energy towards you? For July, gosh, you guys, I can't believe it's July already. Whoa. Wow, some powerful energies are coming through. One more from this deck, please. That wants to come through. Okay, so your person is um, in their head about you. <clears throat> We've got the Knight of Swords. So this is about, you know, seeking clarity, wanting to communicate. Um, it's about, you know, um, making a decision. We've also got the Page of Swords. So yeah, uh, communication is on their mind. They are wanting to come towards you um, and, and have some sort of conversation. But with the Knight of Swords here, this, it, this can be sort of an aggressive energy, okay? So that might be why the Storm Warning and the Conflict card is coming up. So just be aware of that. Be mindful of that and just be flexible, okay? Now, we've also got the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, and this is beautiful. Um, the Ace of Wands is a spark that can turn into a flame. It's the beginning of a journey. It's a very, very passionate energy. So I'm feeling that your person is pretty, pretty passionate about you. Um, they do want to discuss the potential of a new beginning. And it looks to me, with the King of Pentacles coming through, that they do want a commitment. And this may be what they want to speak to you about, okay? Um, they are very clear about they want what they want, and I don't think that they're going to settle for anything less. So, and I just saw the commitment card with this deck as well. So, commitment is on somebody's mind, Aquarius. We've got self worth and observer. And with the Observer card, this is this is like the Page of Swords to me. So it's coming through twice. So your person is really in their head, um, but they're not, you know, they're not communicating yet. They're not taking any action yet, um, but they are really in their head. And I think they're, they're really thinking about this commitment. Um, if it's you that's not wanting to commit, it, um, it I don't know, it's like this... Um, this their need for commitment has to do with their self-worth issues um they yeah it's um it's like if you commit to them then they're going to feel worthy um if you don't commit to them they're not going to they're going to feel unworthy unlovable that's what's coming through and that's not to pressure you aquarius it's something that they have to deal with within themselves but this is what's going on for them okay so just you know if they come at you very aggressively which there i do see that potential um if they're demanding in any way just you know, be flexible and just be kind, okay? Just be understanding. It's not about you. It's something that they are dealing with. So let's see where they are on their journey. The hermit, they're soul searching. They're going within, they're soul searching. This is under the Knight of Swords. So they're probably thinking about, you know, how to approach this, what to say to you, um, how to get what they want. Oh, wow. We've got the Empress under the King of Pentacles. So they really want something stable with you. Um, they want to create and build something very, very stable with you. And they're going within about it. Let's see what else wants to come through. The Ace of Cups under the Ace of Wands. My goodness. Yeah. They want a passionate new beginning to this love. They want to, they, they want an offer is what I'm feeling like. They want an offer. They want to make an offer to you. 
And, you know, with this Empress and this Ace of Cups coming through and the Hermit, it's almost like your person knows they're, they're learning their worth. They're, um, they know what they want, they know what they deserve, but there are still some wounds, you know, some deep wounds. Um, they, they're lacking in a little bit of self-esteem, but what I'm feeling is they're on this journey to really understanding their worth and understanding that they need to hold out for what they feel they deserve. And it revolves around this commitment. And my goodness, we've got the Divine Feminine. So we've got the Empress and the Divine Feminine. This is where they're at on their journey. And this is under the Page of Swords. So they're really going within. I, I feel that they've been doing a lot of work on themselves. They still have a little bit of work to do on this self-worth issue. This, you know, feeling of why do they feel so unlovable? Um, so please take that to heart. We've got lessons. Oh, and that is under self-worth. So they've learned some lessons of, about, um, you know, self-esteem, self-worth, not asking for enough, okay? Not asking for what they truly want, what they feel they deserve. Um, I, I'm, I'm just kind of feeling that your person might be, um, might have been like sort of like a shrinking violet, afraid to speak up in the past, but they're no longer afraid to speak up, to, to um, speak their truth is what I'm feeling. Um, but we do have dark night of the soul and that's under observer. So they're really in their head, they're kind of stuck in their head about it and they're wanting to talk to you, but this, um, you know, they may not be great about communication. They may not be a great communicator. And so it does bring up some anxiety um, when, when they think about having this conversation with you. Um, so yeah, there, there could be some conflict between the two of you. Oh my gosh, we've got creation. This is what's challenging them. And the Empress does represent creation as well. So, you know, this is interesting because it's related to the seventh chakra. And with the lessons and the dark night of the soul coming through, it's like, I and the divine feminine, I just feel that they may be on a bit of a spiritual journey right now. They are really doing some soul searching and going within. Um, this is the she shaman. I will guide you to your muse. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. The personal inquiry is, am I waiting for someone's permission to create my life? What do I need to see in order to claim my gifts? And uh, the key ideas are opening to magic, lasting transformation, divine feminine, and that's come through twice. Um, so many of you could be dealing with a divine feminine, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, the keywords are magic, creativity, and muse. So they, they just are not willing to settle. For less than they deserve. That is the message that's coming through loud and clear. What else is challenging them? The Six of Swords, isn't this interesting? We've got all these cards that are showing water. Um, this is them wanting to move beyond any conflict. And that card did come up. The Five of Wands is about conflict. This, I'm sorry, the Five of Swords is about conflict. The Six of Swords is moving away from that conflict, moving into a place of tranquility, getting out of those rocky waters. 
um, you know, going on to smooth sailing, if you will. Um, but this is challenging them. And I do feel that they have some mental conflict. And we've got the Five of Pentacles under the Ace of um, Cups and the Ace of Wands. So they want to reopen the door. They want a new beginning with you. But they are in their head. They're kind of fearing the worst. They're, they're not sure you guys are on the same page. They're not sure that, that you're going to accept this new version of them you know, speaking their truth and standing their ground. We've got ascending under the divine feminine. So I do feel that your person is on a spiritual journey. Um, they are working on raising their vibration. They're working on healing. They are working on leveling up, expanding their consciousness. But it's, um, you know, it's a journey. It doesn't happen overnight and it's not easy for them. Um, they're not quite there yet. And we've got fear. Yeah, yeah, they do have some fear um, under lessons and self-worth. Um, they're, they're just, you know, they just feel... They just feel like they're going to be rejected, like they're never going to get what they want, even though they're de they're they're in a place of being more determined than ever to get what they want. They're not sure that you're willing to give it to them. Okay, so one more card. Compromise. This is under Dark Night of the Soul and Observer. So what they're really fearing is that they're going to come to you. They are going to um, express their needs and what they want and that you're not going to go for it, that you're going to ask for a compromise. And we do have um, that conflict card. Uh, we do have flexible and friendship and, you know, all of these energies. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. This is what they're fearing. I don't feel like they're in the energy of wanting to compromise on what they want. You still take my breath away. So they are still very attracted to you, Aquarius. I was reminded of your scent lately. So something brought back a memory, some smell brought back a memory. And then a lot of signs are pointing to you lately. So boy, you're really, you are really on their mind. I'm still trying to find myself. Yeah, I feel that with this ascending energy challenging them, um, dark night of the soul, self-worth lessons, they're still going through it. But they're making progress. I'm surprised that the strength card has not come through yet. I feel you leaving me behind. That's one of their fears is that they won't be able to restart this connection with you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. They are really in their head. I don't react when people mention you. Um, so you guys could have friends in common, um, colleagues, something like that, or they may know your family, you may know their family, and they just pretend to be unaffected if people mention your name. And then w you came closer than anyone. So this is about them feeling very connected to you. And it's almost like with, with the self-worth issue coming through, it's, it's like they were very tempted to be vulnerable with you, but I don't feel like you guys really got there, okay? They wanted to. They wanted to be vulnerable with you, but they just couldn't go there. So now I am asking a spirit about um, this connection. What do we need to know? What do you need to know? 
and we've got different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. That could be, I think that's the commitment issue, okay? And we've got rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. <clears throat> so what that says to me is um, it's, not, it's not time for this connection to come back around. And you guys have got to really figure out if you do share the same vision. It's like, do both of you want the same thing? Maybe, you know, one of you wants your freedom and the other wants to lock it down. That's kind of what I'm getting. We've got new love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. So what that tells me, Aquarius, is that if it doesn't work out with your person, and I hope that doesn't trigger you, but if it doesn't work out with your person, if you're truly just not on the same page and you guys can't come to some sort of compromise, then there will be new love for you coming in. And then we've got regret. Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. So, you know, with, um, with this knight of swords coming through they they could have been a little harsh in their communication let's see what their intentions are towards you Well, I would say they want to transform this painful ending between the two of you. We've got the death card and the 10 of swords. So they want to release the pain from the past. They want to start fresh. They want to go in a new direction. And with the Hierophant coming out and all of these, you know, cards about commitment and um, you guys being on different pages, I feel that they want something pretty solid. Like they, they want marriage, if not like, you know, a live-in situation, but it's pretty serious. Like it's all or nothing for them. And we've got patience. And so they're willing to wait a little bit longer. They're hoping that you'll be patient with them as well as they go through all of these things. We've got third party. Um, so somebody is interfering in the connection. Something could be family, could be friends, but there's something. They may have to get out of a situation. You may be in a situation. This is really not very clear. Um, things could have ended because of a third party situation. Maybe you were, um, you guys were just dating and playing the field and then they felt, they realized that they felt this very strong connection with you. And that's why the issue of commitment came through and Aquarius, you're very freedom loving. So, you know, um, yeah, this is interesting. We've got the twin flame card. So they feel something really deep with you. Very, very deep. Okay, let's see what's in their heart. This is why they're doing all that, you know, self-work. Because they feel such a deep connection with you. What's in their heart is the Six of Cups. So they really want reunion with you. They're longing to be with you. Oh my gosh, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. They feel like this is a destined partnership. And we've got the Sun. This is about hope, healing, positivity, optimism, abundance, growth, um, expansion. So in their heart space, they are feeling very, very good about you. Like they, they just know they just know that it's meant for the two of you to be together. And we've got the justice card. 
And so they want justice in this situation. They want this cycle to end with justice and the wheel of fortune. They want this cycle between the two of you to end. They want to balance things out. They want to resolve any, you know, they want to resolve these issues that the two of you have been having. We've got the grief card. So yeah, they're hurting. They're hurting in their heart space. We've got the metamorphosis card. That's the death card, you guys. So that's coming through twice in their heart space. So I really feel like they are making major changes. They are healing their heart. They're transforming. They're tr releasing, you know, the pain from the past. And we've got the muse card and the creation card was speaking about finding your muse. So it's interesting that this came through. In their heart, they're feeling like you're their muse. You've inspired them to make these changes. It's this connection that really inspired them to go deep within, look at these wounds that are, you know, holding them back from being vulnerable with you. So let's see how... How the universe is supporting this connection the high priestess the king of swords so you know there's clarity that's needed in this situation not everything has been revealed yet this is about relying on your intuition as well as your intellect but balancing those things out and aquarius you're very very intuitive you know really figuring out what makes you happy? What is going to bring in this wish fulfillment? I feel that it's a commitment for them. But is that, you know, is that what's going to make you happy, Aquarius? We've got the six of pentacles. So, you know, what's this is about balance. Again, we've seen justice and now the six of pentacles. This is about reciprocity. Um, it's about give and take. It's... Um, yeah, so figuring out how to compromise in this situation. That's what I'm feeling. How can you both get what you want? And then we've got settling and cycles. The cycle is the world card. And um, what I'm getting is your person, the, the, the world card is the end of a cycle, okay? Your person wants quite a few cycles to end. We saw that with justice. Um, you know, they're, they're not willing to settle for less than what they want anymore. They're just not. The outcome is the five of swords. That is not a great energy. That is about conflict. It's about a battle. It can be about mental conflict. We've got the chariot. That's a beautiful energy. Very positive. Um, you know, that's about regaining control, moving that chariot forward toward victory. So after some mental conflict, after some conflict between the two of you, there is the possibility to move things along because there's deep love here. There's a deep emotional connection. Let's get one more card. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel that progress can be made in this connection. It's gonna take some time. It's slow going, you guys. We've got these inner child issues that I feel are 
could be for both of you, you know, we all have those, but um, for them, for sure, because we've got the self-worth and now we've got the release card. So there can be progress made within this situation, but your person needs to really figure out these inner child wounds, this sense of being unlovable, this feeling of being unlovable. They've got to release this. They've got to work through this. And then, you know, you guys can have communication and, you know, heart to heart conversations and decide if you want the same thing. So there is potential. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, your person doing this work and just, you know, figuring out, you know, if there's some sort of compromise that you guys can make. All right, Aquarius, I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell if you want to be notified the next time I upload. And thanks for joining me today. I'm sending you lots of love. Bye-bye.